Fusion Lab, first you need to unpack your basket, and you're going to have 300 mLs of distilled water, already pre-measured, and 300 mLs of 5% sugar. We're going to use that for part two, so you can set that aside. You will have a test tube rack, and there are three test tubes. It has three different um, ratios, 1% salt, 5% salt, 10% salt. These are the ones you will put in your dialysis bags when we make those shortly. Scissors if you need them, pipettes to help you fill the bags, the funnel to help you fill the bag. You're going to use a stirring rod when you stir the solution with the conductivity probe. String to tie off both ends, and you've seen this before, your lab quest, and your ring stand and support to hold the probe. So we're going to set this up like we've done before. And you can either go straight over the base, or if you feel more comfortable, you can swing it around. It does not matter on this. I'll set it up this direction. Okay, you'll plug in the lab quest like you've done before for power. Now the conductivity probe, um, there's an extra setting, and it's on the box that goes between the power and the probe. So look in the lab manual so you know which one to set it on. This toggle switch gets moved a lot. So we're going to plug into channel 1 and put the probe in the support and then we're set up. Now our first test is we're going to use the distilled water. You will test the conductivity of the distilled water first. It's a matter of putting the probe in and then you're going to record the value. Okay, so make sure that you look at the lab manual to see how to set up. You have to set the quest up. It just doesn't automatically run because you're going to be taking the graph and putting it on a flash drive to put into your report. Okay, now we're going to make our bag that has our salt solution in it. And we're going to use dialysis tubing. So it comes in a roll, looks plastic. And we need to soften this up. Now, this is selectively or semi-permeable. And so it's going to allow certain ions to go through, and that's what conductivity measures. So if you're watching the video, and this may help with your write-up, it will allow salt to pass through because it's smaller. Then the sugar will not be able to pass through. It's too large to go through the openings. So when we're finished, these are the little bags that you're going to make. And so in this one, we have 1% salt solution. But we need to make two other bags, but make one bag at a time because if you sit it out, let it dry, the salt will actually plug up the hole. So if it starts feeling kind of tacky and sticky, then come and put it back in either the distilled water or the solution that it came from. Okay, so let's go ahead and two people works really best for this. So you're going to come up to the sink and you're going to get a piece of dialysis tubing already pre-cut. Now the way this works the best, you'll have some string and you want to twist it like a piece of candy. You hold it and then your partner will wrap. Okay, and then I'm going to fold over the top, grab it with finger and hold the very top of where the fold is. She's going to wrap the string again and tie a double knot. Over many trials I found that this works the best. Nothing leaks out the bottom. Okay, so I've got the end tied. Now we're going to open up the top, and you just have to roll it between your fingers. Again, if it gets sticky, just run it in the distilled water, not tap water. Okay, now we have a funnel to help fill, and this is a very messy lab. And this time we're going to look at and fill the 5%, but you'll do 1% first, run the test, then do the 5%, run the test, and the 10%. So I'm going to put my hand under the bag and hold the bag to the funnel and my partner, and you will not pour all of it in. So give yourself about an inch, keep going, a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and I want to get out as much air as possible, make it firm. Trying to make the bags about the same size. So I twist it. Now my partner is going to wrap the string. Okay, and I'm going to fold over the top and hold it. She'll wrap it again. 
and she will double tie. Perfect. So then I have my little bag. Okay. Okay, so I've got my conductivity probe. I'm going to lower it into the water. Don't make the bag until you're ready to collect the data. Now, here's the important part. Take your stirring rod. If you poke the bag and you see a spike on your graph, which is on your lab quest, that means you touch the bag and you push the ions out. So you just want to make a little current and just kind of move it or wiggle it around, but don't touch the bag. Make sure the bag is not touching the probe, and it's run for a certain number of time or a certain amount of time, and then you stop it, and then we are finished. Now the one percent bag you'll throw away unless you want to keep it. The ten percent bag we don't need. The five percent bag you are going to need for part two. So I will have a beaker that has five percent salt, which you put in the bag. So I'm just going to put it back and let it float. And when I'm ready for part two, I'll come up and grab one. Okay, so part two deals with sugar. Now this is confusing. The first three tests is in distilled water. Part two is 5% salt in the bag, and then it's going to be in 5% sugar. Okay, so rewatch this, make sure you know how to tie the bag and know the order. And make sure you set up the lab quest and follow the directions in the lab manual.